Okay, so I'm joined by uh, Kate Ankatil, who is CEO of the GDR Creative Intelligence. Uh, Kate, uh, great speech today. One of the questions that uh, I think is really interesting is the journey that organizations have to go on over the next five years. From your perspective, what are the sort of opportunities and challenges your organization faces over that time period? Well, I suppose luckily, because we are consultants, uh, this is a time of exponential change, mm -hmm. as we've been hearing all morning. Uh, frankly, everybody is confused, possibly slightly frightened, hopefully excited, but essentially everybody needs help to understand uh, the omnichannel revolution, how to start to work with the Internet of Things and its integration into uh, their, their merchandise. And we as consultants, it's our job to swing in all over the world and hold clients' hands to help them visualize what that's going to look like for their business and to help them shift out of silos, for example, and to get one side of the business talking to the other side. And our job is to open their minds mm -hmm. to all of these changes and help them to make step-by-step uh, -step small changes that move them along that continuum. Right. And therefore, as this is a DIY industry event, what do you think specifically the challenges are for, for that sector? I think, frankly, all retailers have the challenge of become experiential if you're going to keep physical spaces yep. or just don't have them. Mm. And so if you are in a sector which has perhaps traditionally been a little bit less sexy mm. than some others, then you are not going to survive that revolution because there are com competitions for your time. Uh, if they can buy everything online, why would they bother going to the store if it's not fun, if it's not somewhere they're going to learn something, perhaps enter into some kind of adult education mm -hmm. uh, where they're going to be able to, you know, sit down and relax and do the usual coffee thing. I mean, it is now an essential. Mm -hmm. So I think DIY may have rested a little bit on its laurels mm -hmm. in the past. It's going to have to massively sexy itself up if it's going to justify getting people to get in their cars, drive there, when actually they could have everything delivered at home. Mm, interesting. So on that journey, therefore, you're, you're having to change mindsets, you're having to change the way to some degree people work. What do you think are the challenges for leaders of those organisations in getting people to be able to make that journey successfully? Uh, I would say one of the biggest issues is uh, changing businesses so that they no longer operate in silos. Mm -hmm. That is about having, for example, innovation as a culture throughout every single member of the team amongst thousands of people. Mm -hmm. So in Adobe, for example, they have this red box called the Adobe box, which anyone can put their hand up and say, I've got an idea, I'd like to propose it to the company. They get the box, it contains a credit card prepaid with $1,000 on it. Mm -hmm. They don't have to justify what they're gonna do with it. It's got uh, a voucher for Starbucks and a chocolate bar because you need to fuel the innovation. Mm -hmm. And then they take you through these six stages which are outlined in this box, the six stages of innovation. And just the point that anyone can have that, mm -hmm. anyone from the janitor through to the COO, it's about culture and it's changing mm -hmm. that culture so that everyone gets to suggest how they can innovate and move forward. I think that's going to be the biggest issue. So above all, it's actually giving everybody permission to think. Exactly. Brilliant, Kate. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Pleasure.